Okay, so we're in AutoCAD and we're going to uh, do some tangencies. Okay, so um, let's have a look. Uh, first of all, if we do like a circle of 10 or something, it's going to be tiny. So let's zoom in. Oh, how do I do this without a mouse? There it is. Okay, just zooming there. Um, now, uh, Excel. So C for circle is that command. Excel, we can put in some construction lines. Um, let's offset O space bar. Uh, let's offset, say, 50. Let's just do both of these. Offset 50, give ourselves a bit of a grid framework. C space bar, let's put in another circle of 10. Okay, now say we wanted to put a curve in here of, say, I don't know, 40. <laughs> that would be pretty easy. I think that's 40 in there because we need 50. 10. Oh, it might be. Yeah, okay. 45. I don't know. Okay. So circle. Let's just see. We, we could draw that and it's going to be 40. Okay. So it's, these are radius 10. Of course. Um, now, if you wanted to do something bigger, so you want a circle of 50, we could try doing a fillet, F-I-L, L, there it is, down one, and a fillet, uh, R for radius, and we'll go 60, so 60 radius, and we're going to click this circle, and we're going to click this circle, hey, it puts in a tangent, that's quite nice, okay, so um, and if we look in that, that's correct. Okay, so fillet does nice curved tangencies in AutoCAD. Um, yeah, but what? say we wanted to do it like across from here to here and we wanted it like some random like 100. How could we do that? So if we did fillet again uh, for radius and we type in 100, Oh, 100 in. Let's try that again. Radius 100. Now we click the bottom of the circle and maybe the back. It's, it's always going to do that inside um, tangency. I, I can't get it to do the curve the other way. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> so one thing I used to teach when I was a graphics teacher was that you could take a... Uh, oh, let's see. You could take a... Um, radiuses and you can add and subtract so um so say i want this one to be a hundred radius between here and here whatever that is that means from the center it's only this we want to find the center point okay so the center point of this one if i click is down here but you know like if i if i did a circle from that center point that's only going to be like 70 or something i could type in tan t-a-n space bar um, and anywhere I click on that, it's just going to snap. There's our outside, but that's because we knew where the center point was. Okay, now assuming we don't know where the center point is, because that, that's wrong, actually. If, if I check the radius, CH gives me properties, the radius of that is 80. Well, say I didn't want 80, so I wanted 100, and I didn't know the center point. Well, I'd have to find the center point. Okay, so we'll work with 100. Um, and it means that from wherever it's touching that circle, it's going to be, uh, see, the, the thing about tangency is this. I can draw a line, R-A-Y is a singular directional, okay, from the center point. If I go through there, it's going to show me the tangent point. Same as up here, okay, this is our tangency point because I've gone from the center of the the actual curve okay so um so what we're doing there is we're going okay well let's go back 10 and 10 and then another 60 because this original one was 60 and and that's sorry that's how we add it up 60 plus 10 plus 10 gives us 80 to this but say we wanted it to be a hundred well what we'd have to do is draw 10 10 and then 80 That'll give us a point out here somewhere. And if we went from here 
10, 10, 80, that'll give us a point down. It doesn't, what we need to really do is scribe an arc. And I'll show you. So, if, so the thing is, we know where this circle is, and we know where this circle is, and we know the radius of these is 10. So how, how much further do we have to go to find our new radius? Would be 90, because 10 plus 90, it's, it's as simple as subtracting radiuses, okay? So say, well, let's say it's 120. If we wanted the radius to be 120, then what would we do? We'd subtract this radius, which would give us a radius of 110. And I like to do radiuses with circles. We go 110. Enter, okay, and then the same, this is a 10, but it could be a different number, you know. It doesn't have to be the same unless they're the same circle. But this one here will also do it 110. And what that does is it gives us this intersection. This intersection <clears throat> is by default because we've gone from a fixed point and we know that this is, we've subtracted 10 from our 120, and we've got our 110. So we've scribed an arc like you might do with a compass when back in the days of pencil and paper. And we've scribed an arc here, and that's given us our crossover. So if I just do this at, say, 20, and I trim to that circle, TR spacebar, spacebar again. Oh, that didn't work. TR, one spacebar, I'll click the circle, spacebar, and then I can trim that down. Okay, so this is like... We've just scribed arcs with a, an actual radius of 110. And, um, and so that means if we put in our circle now from the at 120, you'll see it gives us a perfect tangent between those two points. And like before, if I do RAY and I go from there through this point and this point, we've found our normals to our tangents. And I'll just trim that tangent down to these circles. Get rid of that. Okay, so we've got our tangent at 120. It doesn't look much different from when we had an 80. Okay, but you can see that we've got two different center points here. And that's quite fine, because I did this one with a radius of 60. And that gave us that center point. This one obviously has a different center point, And we had to find that by the subtracting radius method. Okay, because AutoCAD doesn't like you to do external tangents this way. You can do internal tangents using that fillet command. But external tangents, you have to do subtractive, subtract in radius methods. So let's have a look at another one. We're going to do this one a bit more difficult. Let's make this one 10. Let's make this circle 20. And they're really arbitrary. Let's put a curve through this way that goes from the outside of this to the inside of this. Um, and we'll make that maybe um, 100. Okay, how would we do that? Well, we're going to subtract a radius from one and we're going to add a radius to the other. Okay, so imagine that you've already got your arc there. It's going to give you a center point down here. So our 100 plus this radius will give us our arc. Okay, so um, and in this case, if we if we have this curve on this side, we have to subtract our radius, our radius of 20. So we will do one arc at 110, which is our 10 plus 100. And we'll do another arc from this point that is 80, which is our 100 to over here somewhere, minus our 20, okay? So we're gonna do one arc at 110, one arc at 80, and you should see we'll get, oops, we should get a nice tangent between those two. So let's do that 110 with that circle. From this center point, we're going to go 80, which is our 100 minus. I'm going to just use a circle here to trim down. 20 TR spacebar, cutting edge, spacebar, click, click. Okay, so we've got our two arcs. And from this point here, we can do 
a oops we can do a circle of 100 and you'll see it goes through the inside of this and the outside of that AutoCAD will never do that for you now to find our normals we can do ray r a y we're going this way down to here oh we could just do a line actually we don't need a ray on that one l for line to go from the center of this circle to there that shows us our normal to the tangent and um, this other way we're going to go ray from here up through and that also gives us our other normal to the tangent and what we used to do when we drew normals in graphics we'd um, just trim those down three three millimeters we're going to use trim tr spacebar select our two cutting edges and we're going to tr click on those lines to get rid of them and then we'll delete our um, circles there and there delete there's our two normals to our tangent and they both point back to our intersecting arcs method okay so just rehashing that zoom in a bit so we get that a bit closer so what we did was we thought oh we want to put a curve in here we know the radius is 100 the radius of this is 10 so we do an arc at 10 plus 100 gave us this line down here um, with a circle and we did our other radius knowing that this distance to somewhere down here is going to be a hundred we would have to subtract the radius of 20 which gave us 80 to do this arc in here and once we have those two intersecting arcs then from the intersection we could do our um, 100 radius which was our desired radius giving us our two tangencies and then we drew through the centers to find our normals and of course we trim those things down knitting them up uh, we could even trim between this normal and this one precisely um, in AutoCAD's unrealistic infinitely precise way the graphical way um, that is precisely where the tangent begins and where it ends between those two circles okay so uh, that's all you would ever need for doing tangents between circles um, tangents to lines is pretty easy because you use the tan command t-a-n so let's just do one of those for fun put a line here okay we're going to put a tangent or you could just use fillet even fillet radius say it's 100 okay and we put it between this circle and this line there we go there's that one or what if we do um, between this part of the circle and the line oh it doesn't like it okay so say here's here's one we might try let's do between this part of the circle and the line a tangent of 100 we'll lengthen that out because it may actually touch up there somewhere okay so how do we find well it's similar in that we're going to find the center so if we want this curve to be 100 down here and 100 from here now lines are easy we just offset them the complete distance of the radius and we know that somewhere along that is going to be our um, center so you sort of guess oh where's the center going to be well if it's touching the circle it must be exactly 100 above so let's o for offset I'm going to type in 100 space bar click this line and above oh right up there so we know our center for our um, radius 100 is going to be somewhere along that line that's half the information we need now if we know it's touching this side of the circle then we know it's a minus 20 and we can draw a radius from here of 80 oh sorry a circle of 80 let's try that one 80 and where it intersects up here let's trim that down 
TR spacebar, select the cutting edge spacebar. We can trim both of those down. We have now found the intersecting arcs method um, that gives us our offset parallel to that one and our arc, which was 100 minus 20, gave us that arc of 80. And now we can put in our circle 100 and you'll see it perfectly goes through this line down here and through this part of the circle, which is what I was aiming to do. Okay, so in the same way, we can put in our ray from this point and go down here and we'll put it through the center of that one. I think I got that. Okay, and we could show our normals this way. Three millimeters is all I'm using. That's just because trim. Can select both of those cutting edges. I can trim this array on both sides, and this one, and this one. Um, I can't trim that. Okay, so trim also to the normals. Get rid of that curve there. So we're showing all the construction that we need to there to show our tangent and our normals. Uh, this one, a curve to a line. Of course, if I wanted to go up this way, here I'd be um, going 100 plus 20. Let's try that one. Circle 120. And we'll uh, extend this one because it's horizontal. We can come across there. If we put in our circle on this side, we'll go 100. And you'll see that goes through that circle and that goes through that line. Same sort of way. Okay, so um, so we've done tangency between two circles and we've done tangency between a circle and a line. Um, the only other thing you might do is tangency between two lines. Uh, and tangency between two lines is um, a matter of doing two offsets. That's pretty easy. So if I put a line here and a line here at some arbitrary angle, and I wanted a curve of, say, 50, well, let's do 30 between those. O, space bar, 30, space bar. There's that line. There's that one. And where they intersect, I can do my circle of 30. There it is. Um, and I'll trim that down with a double space bar. Get rid of that, that, and that, and that. Okay, so there's our perfect tangency between two lines. We've covered a lot there. Um, yeah, let me know how it goes. Thanks for watching.